For fans of fishing, Fisherman's Wharf is definitely the spot to come to hopefully find your perfect catch. Whether you're a beginner or a seasoned pro, they've got a tour for everyone and a couple of very special boats with a cool history. I'm here at Fisherman's Wharf with Trey, general manager. Uh, the moment we walked up here, Trey, I could tell this is a really special place, right? It's a very special place. Fisherman's Wharf was built in 1971 after a small loan, uh, hurricane loan after Hurricane Cecilia. And then uh, Bobby Grumbles worked here. He was one of the captains that worked here. And he acquired it in 1993. And he had a long tenure here, which, you know, Grumbles is named after him. And uh, Will Cock uh, Holdings ended up acquiring it in 2019 and what you see here was built after Hurricane Harvey. When you so. walk up here, one of the first the first thing I saw were these incredible boats and there's a story behind these boats. They're they're important. Uh, the boats the boats are semi famous. It, it's called the Wharf Cat and the Scat Cat, but uh, they've been around for 50 years. They both had extensive upgrades to up to 2022 standards with new propulsion systems which makes them faster, cleaner burning fuel. There's no smoke. It's all, all newer technology, new generators, all new interior, and everything has been upgraded to 2022 standards. They're almost brand new. Well, the, the Wharf Cat and Scat Cat are catamaran vessels, and uh, the, what the, the, the platform for fishing is the stability on a catamaran. It's got a 360 degree where you can stand, and it, it, it's basically when you're out there on the water, it's not actually like being on an oil platform because it doesn't move. It's, it's real stable, and for people that get seasick or first-time fishermen, they will really enjoy these boats because they're stable, and that, it, it, it makes it enjoyable to fish. They're super fast, super stable. All the families want to go on them, and we just want to get people out there safely, show them a good time, and uh, uh, catch them a few fish and get them back here safe. Families, really, this is a great family opportunity, right? It is. It, the, the types of trips we run, there's been people that's been fishing on them for 40 years. And they, and every time they come down, they see something new, and they, they just, they, they really enjoy going on them, and they, they have a history because some people remember their, their first kids fishing. They remember fishing them as a kid, and now they're bringing their grandkids down to fish on them. I'm excited to see. Let's just get on the boat, and you'll tell me a little bit more about what we have. Absolutely, ready to can. board. You bet. Let's do it. Let's go. <laughs> All right, we are out on the water, which is really where all the magic happens with Fisherman's Wharf. It does. We're on the Scat Cat right now. We're just taking a short little tour through the ship channel, looking at some dolphins. Yeah, we've seen a few. So, and that's just a little bit of what you do. Tell us kind of what can families, all the way down from beginners, all the way up to expert fishermen experience with Fisherman's Wharf. At Fisherman's Wharf, we offer the six hour, nine hour, and 12 hour trips offshore. The six hour trip is catered more towards the families that are first time fishermen. We actually have experienced fishermen that go on the six hour. They want to go out and catch their fish real quick, have a short fishing trip, the duration, get back, spend some family time at the beach with their families, eat dinner, and, it, and then it's, um, it's done. It's a short, shorter trip. The nine hours are more catered towards people that want a chance to catch a little more fish, a little more experienced fishermen. The 12 hours, it's a, it's a long day offshore to catch whatever species that are biting that day yeah. and come back and have some fun with your family. So what kinds of fish can you catch? Uh, usually on the six hour trips, it, it, it's they're, they're six hour trips are, are snapper trips. Snapper season opens from June 1st and usually goes to July 31st to August 2nd. It depends on what the NOAA comes up with when they announce the date for opening. But a lot of people want to catch on the nine hour trips is fish Dorado, lots of sharks. Uh, a lot of people want to catch a shark, but we usually catch them, take a picture and release the shark just so they can that, you know, do their thing. That is really cool. And something that is really awesome that we got to see is that when you, you can catch these fish, but you take them back to Fisherman's Wharf and you guys will help process them. Yes, sir. Last year we cleaned over 300,000 pounds of fish at Fisherman's Wharf. Wow. And, uh, you know, that we try to take care of everybody in a, in a timely manner every day. We get your fish cleaned, ice down, out the door, and, and back to your table as quick as we can. That is really cool. And something that I also found super interesting is you have these really extended trips for fishermen who are very serious. Yes, sir. We have a, a long range tuna trips in the winter time for experienced, I wouldn't say experienced fishermen, but if you're gonna be out for a three day trip, you might wanna go on a shorter duration trip first because <laughs> there's no there's no uh, circle Ks or there's a, you can't, <laughs> can't turn around and just come back home. Yeah, but you can sleep here, right? Absolutely, we have 28 bunks downstairs, uh, full kitchen, showers, the, all amenities you would at the house, and, and when you're on here, it's like a floating hotel, basically. That's Excuse a me. great way to put it, a floating hotel. Yes, sir. Catch your own fish, take them back, have them processed, have it for dinner. It really seems like the perfect way to kind of experience Port Aransas life, right? Absolutely, Port, Port Aransas, uh, it, since Harvey, it's really bounced back. It, it's been rebuilt. It, it's 
people say a hurricane is a good thing for a community, but I, I don't wish that upon anybody. Sure. But everything got rebuilt quickly. It's all new, upgraded, and it, and it still got that same sense of family. Yeah. You know, Port Aransas is, is still Port A. We're, we're a gem. Yes, Port sir. A strong. It really is a gem on the Gulf Coast. Trey, thanks for telling us all about Fisherman's Wharf, taking us out on the water today. We've got some more dolphins to see, don't we? We do. We're going back up front and looking at dolphins. <laughs> Let's do it. Thank you, man. Absolutely. <laughs> Coming up on Road Trip in Port Aransas here at Fisherman's Wharf, while they clean your catch and pack it up for you to take home, you can come right across the way to Grumble Seafood Company and have a great meal while you wait. We're checking out the menu after the break. Here's another Road Trip Pro Tip. Don't worry about packing everything up in the car to head to Port Aransas because when you get here, Bronze Beach Rentals has everything you need for a day of fun on the beach. They rent umbrellas, resort style chairs, palapas, cabanas, beach games, and so much more. And they'll have it all set up on the beach just waiting for you. All you've got to do is show up. Oh, and wear your sunscreen. I've saved you a seat. <laughs> 